just from the beginning to the end and don't forget to click that button below that subscription button below like and share this video just give it a thumbs up hello guys i'm marking out half inches half inch to the end of the folded fabric and that will be our seam allowance yeah right to this part i'm measuring the full length of the crop top which is 16 inches and i'll measure it all the way down and yeah i will add i am adding one one inch so the folded fabric here i'm measuring my neck and i'm going to measure it three by three that's three inches wide and three inches depth yes after measuring my neck width which i have told you that i went in by three by three then i will use i'm marking out the pointed area so as to use my french curve to get my accurate neck curve After measuring my neck, I have to shoulder length 11 inches. Then after measuring my shoulder length, I will now measure my armhole, which is arm sink. And my arm sink is 8. Guys, after measuring my shoulder, I have to divide my bust, my chest, and my under bust. And from my shoulder, I will have to get my middle bust, which is 10, my chest, which is 8 inches. So, after getting my, bo my body length, I have to get my body circumference as well. And my middle bust, which is my bust area, is 36 divided by 4, which will give me 9 point something. Then I add my 1.5 inches. Then I'm dividing my upper bust, which is 35. Then I have to add also my seam allowance. So after getting my chest area, I have to also measure out my under bust and divide it also. Yeah, I'm dividing my under bust, which is 31, divided by 4, which will give me 7.5 or 7.2. Then, after marking it out, I will, I am adding my 1.5 inch seam allowance. Then, after marking it out, I have to go to the neck, to the shoulder slope. I'm subtracted 1 inch from the shoulder slope and I marked it all the way up to the neck line then after I'm dividing my show my armhole into two and my bust area is 3.5 then after marking it out I have to I have to minus 1.5 inches just to get my breast cup and I'm that I'm also adding that 1.5 inches. Then I curved my bust area just to get my princess bust here. Then after marking it out, my front body is done. Yeah, I placed my front body on the back and the back I folded it into two. And as you can see, I might have subtracted one inch from the back because of the zip allowance and the neck length is 1.5 by 3 and after marking my neckline I have to cut everything out so after cutting everything out your crop top is done remember to cut out the back for the zip our two piece set is ready this is the two piece set one is scuba material and one is less material please drop your comments in the comment box below and let me know what you guys think about this combination if you have not seen how i cut this part please go and check my channel to watch the video bye